Would you like to know how to put all the images you want to print on one sheet and save paper? Keep watching! Hello everyone, my name is Tina. I am the designer and co-founder of Vectoria Designs. If you work with printable collage sheets and other printables from the internet, I bet you've had this problem. Say you have a lovely sheet like this one, but you only want that label and not the other one. Why should you print everything? That's just a waste of ink. Or say you only want this label but six times. Does that mean you have to print this sheet six times and just waste all the ink? I'm going to teach you how to put all the images you want on one sheet and thus save on ink and paper. I'm going to teach you how to do this with BeFunky.com. An important note, you need files that are JPEG or PNG. PDF won't work. Oh yeah, if you like to craft with paper like I do and you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button below for more tutorials. And now let's get started. Go to BeFunky.com and click on Photo Editor. Click on Open. Computer and select the file where you want to take out an image. The sheet will open and let's say we only want to use one of these tickets. First I suggest to zoom in on your sheet a little bit more. You can do that with the bottom slider. On your left side make sure you're in the edit mode and hit crop. And if you look at the sheet a cutting box appears. You can drag that box anywhere you like and use the corner handles to make this box larger or smaller to isolate one of the tickets or one of the images you want to isolate. Try to put the cutting box as close to the image you want to cut. And when you're happy, click apply. Now your image has been cut out and it's time to save. Just go to the top, click save, click computer, put the quality to 100 of course. It doesn't matter if you choose JPEG or PNG, give it a file name and click save. And this way you can isolate as many images as you like. If you have your images, Go to the upper left corner and click Photo Editor and click Designer. Now a beautifully pre-made design appears on your screen, but of course that's not what we need. However, it demonstrates what you can do with Be Funky. On the left side choose Blank Templates and I like to use Event Graphics because there you can find an 8.5 by 11 inch page and you can also use that for A4. So I'm going to click that one and the blank sheet appears. On the left bar go to the top icon that says Images Layers. Click on Computer and find the image that you just saved. That image now appears on your left. Don't worry, it's just a thumbnail, it's not cut out or anything. And now simply drag that image to your sheet. It's very easy. And you can easily drag the corner handles to make the image larger or smaller. If you want a bunch of the same images on one sheet, just right click on that image and choose duplicate item. Click it and a duplicate will appear right on top of it. And then simply drag the duplicate to your side and place it next to the original. And you can repeat the same process, so right click duplicate item and drag the duplicated item as many times as you like. So I have five of the same tickets on the same page now. Now say I want to add some other items on that same sheet that I want to print too. Just go to computer on your left and choose that new item and it appears as a new thumbnail on your left. And just as before, just drag that item. I chose a Paris Eiffel Tower ticket. Drag it to the page as well, make it larger, make it smaller. And here's a tip, if you go to the top handle, put your cursor right next to it, a curved 
arrow will appear and if you drag it the ticket will turn so if you want to turn that item just drag it until you got 90 degrees and drag it into place and this way you can save more space if you like and also this item you can duplicate as many times as you like Here I filled my whole page with tickets that I like to print. When you're happy with your sheet, just go to the top, click on save. Put the quality to 100 if necessary, give it a file name and just click save. Thank you for watching. I hope this video really had value for you. Give it a big fat thumbs up if you like it. We love Victoria Designs. We love Victoria Designs.